Hello everyone, Miao Miao and Joe again here to help you understand how to quickly set up the Wi-Fi dongle with our Luxpower SNA unit. We have a brand new Wi-Fi module here in the box. It shows the serial number and the pin code and also we have a quick guidance here. And firstly, you, if you use Android or iPhone, you can download the app from the App Store. Joe has already got the apps installed. So the next step, we're going to plug the Wi-Fi module into the interface here. Huh? Huh? Okay, so you plug in, and all, uh, if it's a brand new Wi-Fi module, uh, which you all should be having, let me tell, explain you uh, what this means. Uh, this Wi-Fi means the Wi-Fi dongle is normal. It has a local uh, hotspot, um, which uh, if you don't, in the case you don't have the Wi-Fi around, you can use the local Wi-Fi hotspot to use. And this cloud means our server. So uh, the flashing state means uh, it's not connected to our server. So once you configure everything here, this one will solve it on as well. And the inverter. Uh, means um, if the dongle is well connected with the inverter. So once you finish the Wi-Fi settings, the inverter will s the, all the three lights will solid on. The next step will be installing the app and uh, follow the guidance here. First, uh, if you're an installer, inquire your sellers now to get the account or get a customer code. The next one uh, to help register the station for your users say you are uh, because you are an installer and you install the uh, inverters and batteries for your clients so the clients or the end user should have their own monitor account you will need to help them to register the account it's quite common message um, the information here and the last the last uh, step, you're going to use a customer code. It's very important. We encourage every distributor help their installer to register to prepare the installer account. Along with that installer account, you will be able to have the customer code already. So we encourage every installer use their own customer code. So in the future, if uh, the site has any problem, then you can uh, you can check the status on your monitor and you don't even to drive to anywhere. You just sit in your office and open the app or open the web page. You'll be able to monitor the site remotely. So once you finished uh, register the account for the end user and the next step, we're going to configure the Wi-Fi. Remember, this is separate process. Create the installation, the station on the server for your end user. And once the dongle is uh, registered on the server and then the inverter, the system will be online. So Joe is busy register this dongle with the station together. So uh, the minute he's creating the station for users, he's already put the data log serial number and the pin inside. So it's going to just one step and then everything is done. Okay, then you hit register. It shows register success. So we have some uh, some like inquiries or problems, some installers feedback before. They have already uh, registered, oh, they have already registered this one and it shows the username already exists because the register success is very quick and sometimes you don't even realize, but it's already done. So when you hit the, again, it shows already exists. That means you already done it. So don't worry and go ahead with the Wi-Fi uh, connection is okay. The inverter and the dongle is uh, registered. And now uh, it's important for us to make the system online. So we, we do the, we, we move to the Wi-Fi connection now. And you can see it's, uh, the server is flashing and inverter is off. Follow the guidance here. Find the hotspot of the dongle here. Mm -hmm. So once you uh, connected the Wi-Fi hotspot and then you hit uh, this button, a Wi-Fi uh, connection, the next one. Okay, here uh, you will need to use uh, your, your router in the house. 
for example, you're installing for the client's house, then you need to connect the client's Wi-Fi. Put the Wi-Fi name and password. This is the Okay, once you've done that, uh, hit TCP set. It shows uh, it will restart later and it's already restarting. So uh, the, the two LED will, will be off quickly and then on again. Now it's restarting. Wait about one, one to two minutes, the three lights will be solid on. Okay, here we go. We have the Wi-Fi connected successfully, all LED solid on, and now you will be able to monitor the site online. Use the username you, you just uh, created, and then log in. We can see the system here. We don't have any charging or discharging, so there's no power line goes uh, in and out. Uh, we, we have the AC connected, but it's not uh, taking any loads. When you go into the set part, you always hit the read all button on the top right, and then you uh, the server will be able to capture all the data.